What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video if you're new here. So I am going to the dermatologist. I made an appointment with them a couple weeks ago. Went in for a consultation and um, basically I have hyperpigmentation on this side of my face. I have a hat on, but like, oh, if you see me in other lighting, this side of my face is darker. Obviously, I have a lot of acne scars, hyperpigmentation, whiteheads if you get super close to my face, and then all of this is like all acne scars. So that's been my biggest insecurity in my adult life, <laughs> because, like physically wise, you know what I mean? And um, I feel like obviously with makeup, you can change like certain things about your appearance, but like when you take makeup off, you still have your face so I wouldn't get like plastic surgery or anything like that I don't have those types of insecurities but <laughs> because I'm like I just have to accept my face the way that it is but things that I can change that aren't too drastic are the texture of my skin and all that so I've basically tried a bunch of DIY stuff on YouTube and all of that turmeric masks all these different types of face masks eating certain things or whatever using certain types of soap and that stuff just it's helped, but it hasn't helped the way that I needed to. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just go to the dermatologist, obviously. And I had a free consultation, so that was really cool. So today I'm gonna go get a chemical peel and I'm just gonna vlog the whole process just on my phone because I don't want to be super invasive by taking like cameras and tripods in there because they're gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I'm gonna just try to vlog the whole process and take you guys along with me. And um, basically they're gonna put some stuff on my skin and over the week, my skin is gonna peel. I'm just gonna like shed like a snake. So that's what I'm doing. And I also have foot peels that I'm gonna do like in my own house in my own spare time because I'm like, if I'm peeling from my face, I might as well be peeling from my feet and like have a new layer of skin too. So that I just have a fresh face and a fresh, <laughs> fresh feet. I don't know. Nobody ever sees them anyways because I, I don't wear um, sandals. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to vlog this because I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, so, and it's flag day and President Trump's birthday, so that's pretty cool. It's Monday, obviously, but by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, let's go, guys. Okay guys, I got my chemical peel. Obviously there's not much of a difference on my face right now because I just got it, but my forehead is burning a little bit. It's not unbearable, but it's like tingly like when you wash your face and exfoliate. Um, just right here, but the rest of my face feels pretty fine. So yeah, I'm just waiting in the lobby for my mom to pick me up, so that's it. <laughs> What is up you guys? So right now it's 11 a.m. on the next day and <clears throat> obviously my face has not changed much but I feel a little itchy mostly in my forehead area and they gave me these tiny little cleansers and lotions to use so I'm gonna just wash my face right now. I didn't wash my face last night but I'm gonna do it now because I wanted the product to obviously soak in and I kind of feel like my face looks a little shinier than before just because like there's obviously stuff on it, so I'm just going to wash it. And when I move my forehead like this, obviously no Botox, but <laughs> when I move my forehead like this, I can feel like the citrusy sort of like, like I put something on my face, obviously. So I'm just gonna wash it right now. What is up guys, today is Thursday. Here's a little update. I am peeling all over here, over here. This is the most progress. And then this is getting really dark, meaning it's going to peel very soon. Um, I did go outside yesterday, and somehow I feel like that sped up the process. Somehow, like, I don't know if that's really true or not, but that's just my hypothesis. Probably not, but I felt like me going outside, I did get, I was wearing a hat, but I did get some sunlight, because that's inevitable. It was really hot, really pretty yesterday out. And even though I was outside for like less than an hour, I think, um, yeah, I just kind of started to peel a lot more, so there's that. 
I just noticed this because I just came into the bathroom and I just noticed this part of my chin. I saw this earlier, obviously. And then this, and this is really annoying because if you've never gotten a chemical peel, this one that I got, the superficial one, feels like when you get glue on your hand as a child and then it dries on your hand and then you peel it off. That's literally what it feels like, but I literally cannot rip it off. So it's kind of frustrating, but this is where I'm at right now. And you can see all my whiteheads, but I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but like when I came into the bathroom this morning at like six, six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning, my skin, the sh it, it doesn't look like this on camera, but in my actual view, my face looked tinted yellow a little bit. And then like, I've just been putting lotion on the whole day, the lotion that they gave me. And yeah, so that's my Thursday update. And I got this on Monday, so. What is up guys? It's Saturday, it's four o'clock, <laughs> tomorrow's Father's Day, and this is how I'm doing so far. I'm kind of annoyed, like I said before, because I didn't think it was gonna take this long to peel, and I'm only like, le literally less than halfway through, I'm just literally right peeling right here. And so all of this needs to go up that way, and my nose is starting and then on my forehead, I see it's like flaking over here, so it's going to start peeling probably like next week. Which is really annoying because next Tuesday, I start working. So I'm just like, I'm going to look spooky dooky, you know? But like I said before, at least I'll be covered from here down because of the mask situation. But it's just going to be really weird when my forehead starts to peel because they did it all over my face. So, yeah. That's what's going on so far. And I did cut off some pieces because it was just really itchy the other day. So I was like, and it was just like hanging down. So I'm going to do that now. I just wanted to show this before I start trimming. So that's my little update. Okay, so today is Monday. It's 11.46 a.m. And this is where I'm at. So I know I look a mess, but literally I've just been sitting here all week <laughs> with my skin peeling. So yeah, this is where I'm at. This is the actual skin. This is the peel part, so it's peeling back that way. And this still has the um, peel part on it peeling back that way. So now my forehead is starting to peel obviously very fast. It's kind of crazy because it didn't look like this yesterday. I, I don't think I recorded it yesterday, but it's like, I feel like an egg. It's like broken right here. And now it's just gonna like basically all fall off. This is basically, this is all gone. So now it's just going to peel that way, and that's where I'm at. Okay guys, so today is Wednesday. Um, it's been a week and two days, so this is where I'm at with my chemical peel. I'm basically done with it. I have this much left to go and still stuff on my forehead, but to be completely honest, I'm really over this, so I'm going to just rip it all off even though I'm not supposed to. It is what it is, and yeah. Um, because honestly, it's not really peeling anymore. This is just sticking here. 99% of the peeling is gone, so I'm just gonna take it off. Not on camera, because you guys will be grossed out, but... Yeah, so this is it. I did notice this part lightening up a little bit, but they did say that I was gonna need multiple chemical peels. Um, but I would have to wait until fall or winter. But honestly, I think that in the fall, I'll just get a hydrofacial or something and not go with the whole... Because that also has some... Um, you know, good effects, but I'm, I am i don't know if I want to sit through this whole process of a chemical peel. And plus in the fall, I'm going back to Tennessee, so I don't think I'm going to have all the time in the world to sit. Where am I, where am I going to get the time to like sit around for a week and not do anything or two weeks um, when I'm going to be going back to Tennessee and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that was my chemical peel experience. I don't know if you guys could tell that there's any differences i'm gonna like wash my face now like fully wash my face i'm still gonna use cold water instead of hot water for now and just be gentle but i'm gonna go wash my face and basically take the rest of this stuff off and yeah that was a very interesting experience and i would do it again but not anytime soon because you're not supposed to put that much chemical in your face like you know soon like back to back but yeah it was a very interesting time